how to set up Google Workspace business emails. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can set up Google Workspace business emails. Google Workspace can help you in creating and boosting your team's productivity as well as managing your business in an easy and efficient way. This workspace can provide you with all of your basic solutions for meetings, calendars, documents, and storage solutions. So let's get started. Now for your Google Workspace, and if you're looking to get started with Google Workspace email, then you're going to either need to purchase a domain or own your own domain, and then we can proceed. So we're going to click on get started over here, and our first step to getting started is entering our business name. So let's say our business is called Lilies. Once you enter your business name, you're going to choose the number of employees and the region. Then you're going to click on next and you're going to enter your first name, last name, and current email address. Then click on next. Now after that, you have your basic setup. So in this, you either choose if you already have a business domain or if you want to purchase a domain. So I already have a domain which I have purchased via GoDaddy. However, if you don't have a domain already, you can purchase it directly from Google. However, usually I do find that if I'm buying on GoDaddy or Namecheap, I get better prices and I can find pretty decent domains and I can usually get a discount for the first year of my domain subscription. So I would suggest to, you know, look around for your domain before you purchase it. So I'm going to add my domain and it's going to ask you what's your business domain. We're going to enter our domain which is called lilydavis.site and then click on next. Once you do that I'm going to click on next over here and I'm going to enter a username and after that I'm going to create a suitable password. Then I'm going to agree and continue to proceed into Google Workspace. So this is our basic business sign up. We can go into Google Workspace emailing. And once our sign up has been completed, we're going to be led to the Google Workspace checkout. So in this, you have multiple different plans. You have their flexible plan and their annual plan. The annual plan can give you a 10% discount for 12 months, which ends up at $12 and 60 cents per user per month and their flexible plan is $15 and 12 cents. Now you get a 14 day free trial so you don't have to worry about paying right away. You can proceed and then agree and check out. Once you do that you're going to be led to the next page which is going to be your address line as well as your credit information. So you will have the price for additional users, price turns to $16 per month for all users on uh, 2026. Your first 14 days are no charge, limited to 10 users, and you can cancel anytime. And this recurs at the end of every month. So we're just going to complete all of these details and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So now that we have entered our payment information, we can proceed on to the next step, which is to verify our domain. So you have to verify ownership that this actually belongs to you, and then you can start setting up your own email or Gmail address. So we're going to click on get started over here. And you have two options. Now, the easier option is to sign on to GoDaddy or your name domain name provider, or you can switch to manual records where you can enter your DNS changes. By default, I like to go with the direct method, but if you want to do DNS changes, just open up your product on your domain name provider. And once you go into your domain name provider, you can click on domain. Once you go into your domain settings, you're going to see all of your domain information, then click on manage DNS and then click on enter DNS to enter your own DNS setup. I'm going to click on sign into GoDaddy for a quick and easy verification of my domain name that I have with GoDaddy. So I have my domain connect over here and then I'm going to click on connect. And once I click on connect, this will proceed onto my Gmail setup. So once our domain has been connected, this is going to redirect me 
and right now it is getting my domain ready and you have to leave this page open while they verify your domain DNS settings. This can take several minutes but usually it does not take too long and our domain is verified. Make sure that if you're doing a manual setup you're copying and pasting the information correctly. It doesn't matter whatever domain provider you have, if it's GoDaddy, Namecheap, Hostinger, or any other place where you purchased your domain, it's going to pretty much be the same process. Either it's going to give you the option of a direct setup if it detects whatever domain name provider you have, or it's just going to ask you to add a new DNS record. I'm just going to wait for this to be completed so we can proceed on to our Google Business workspace email setup. So now that our domain verification has been completed, we can go on ahead and click on activate Gmail. Now over here, they're going to help you set up your Gmail email address, which is going to be whatever, you know, prefix or username that you want to add at lilydavis.site, which is our domain. So I'm going to click on continue. And then this is you. So this is going to be my first user, which is lily at lilydavis.site. And this is going to be me. Now, all email addresses and aliases are going to be under, um, you know, sales at lilydavis.site. So everyone continues receiving their emails without interruptions. And you can add more aliases. You can click on add users and add multiple different users on to your Gmail or Google Workspace business email. Then you're going to click on proceed with activation. You can add upwards of 10 users whenever you have your basic setup. And on the trial version, if you exceed over 10 users, then you're going to have to pay an additional charge per extra user that you do have. So again, you're going to have to complete your DNS record verification and you're just going to have to leave this page open for your Gmail activation to be completed. Now, by default, it's going to add your name. So I added lily at lilydavis.site and now our Gmail is ready. Now I can click on explore Google Workspace. And once I do that, this is my basic workspace. I'm just going to continue on over here. And just like that, our domain is added and our workspace is ready. You have a couple of different verifications and recommendations if i click on my top right this is going to be what my gmail is going to look like so it's lily at lilydavis.site and we can explore more features by clicking on over here and then once we click on this app directory we can click on admin once you click on admin this opens up the administrative section of your google workspace and then over here, you can start adding users, groups, you can manage your billing, you have support. And then on the left, you have a directory, you have devices, other applications, and generative AI. Then if you click on mail, this is going to be your professional email address uh, that also has your mail section. So just like that, you can get started with creating your own Google Workspace email. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.